Hi there all you gorgeous guys and lovely lasses. It's me Shoni, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, a special shout out to you for clicking on this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, click the bell to get notified when I upload new content and to share this video. Your support is so greatly appreciated because I love connecting with you guys and covering a wide variety of topics that one would normally sit down and chat to another over a butterscotch latte. Right, let's jump right on into today's session. Today I will be talking about the 12 laws of karma at play in your life without you even noticing or being aware of it. Karma describes the concept of getting back whatever you put forth, good or bad, into the universe. No matter which belief system you follow, or don't, the concept of karma plays a role in your life. That's because there are 12 laws of karma constantly at play, whether you realize it or not. When you live in accordance with the 12 laws, you create good karma in your life, theoretically increasingly the likelihood for good things to happen. In this video you will find a breakdown of what each of the laws are and an idea of how to harness the power. Right, let's jump right into what these 12 laws are. 1. Number 1. The Great Law. Also known as the Law of Cause and Effect, the Great Law is what comes to mind for many people when consider what karma means. It states that whatever thoughts or energy we put out, we get back, good or bad. It's like sowing and reaping. If you plant love and kindness, you shall get that in return. To receive happiness, peace, love, and friendship, one must be happy, peaceful, loving, and a true friend. Whatever you put out into the universe will come back to you. 2. Number 2. The Law of Creation The Law of Creation is all about, wait, you guessed it, creating. You don't just wait for good things to magically happen in your life, you have to actively go out there and make things happen. You have to use your talents, gifts, and abilities to bless the world. Many well-known celebrities and influencers are constantly creating something, not just for the benefit of themselves, but also for the benefit of others. So, the power to create your idealistic creation lies within you. Surround yourself with what you want to have in your life. 3. Number 3. The Law of Humility In order to change something in your life, you first have to accept what currently exists. That is the premise of the Law of Humility. This is one trait that many highly successful people embody. You need to be a strong, kind, generous, and very humble person. When we look at successful, prosperous and blessed people, we have to keep in mind yeah, that when they all started on their paths, they had to accept certain things about themselves and society. You, yourself have to free yourself from pride or arrogance. Letting someone ahead of you in line, when you see they are in a hurry is an act of humility. Cleaning the bathroom of your office, even though you own the company, is an example of humility. A happy, healthy, successful future is yours for the taking if you live by this law. 4. Number 4. The Law of Growth As its name suggests, the universal law of growth is about expansion, namely within ourselves. As we grow, change, and evolve internally, our external reality will change and grow as a result. This is where personal development and reading self-help and spiritual books can come into play. And the growth never ends. There's always new things to learn, shift, and heal. When we change who and what we are within our hearts, our lives follow suit and change too. 5. Number 5. The Law of Responsibility The Law of Responsibility is about taking ownership for everything that happens in our lives, including the not-so-good stuff. We are responsible for how we choose to live our lives, not anyone else. We are responsible for how we show up in the world, how we allow others to treat us, and how we treat other people. In order to put this law into action, take responsibility for the part you play in every situation you have. We mirror what surrounds us, and what surrounds us mirrors us. This is a universal truth. One must take responsibility for what is in one's life. 6. Number 6. The Law of Connection The Law of Connection states that everything and every person is connected in some way. For example, although the past you, the present you, and the future you may seem entirely different, they are all still you. Everything you've experienced has led to the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. It's all linked up. 
and we're connected to other people, too. As we help, teach, love, honor, and respect ourselves, we do the same for others. The connection is always there. We just have to be observant and tune into it. 7. Number 7. The Law of Force. Although some of us may claim to be absolute multitaskers, the inclination to do everything at once often just slows us down. The law of force states that you cannot put your energy toward two things simultaneously. When you focus on one thing at a time, you accomplish much more, and with better results. One cannot think of two things at the same time. If our focus is on spiritual values, it is not possible for us to have lower thoughts like greed or anger. 8. Number 8. The Law of Giving and Hospitality. This law of karma is all about selflessness, being giving to others, and practicing what you preach. It's about ensuring that you're not simply saying and thinking good thoughts but that you also walk the walk and follow those beliefs with action. Let's say, for example, that you believe in donating to charity. So, then, the law of giving and hospitality states that when the opportunity to donate presents itself, you follow through and actually donate, rather than simply advocating for it to happen. If one believes something to be true, then sometime in their life, they will be called upon to demonstrate the truth. Here is where one puts what they claim to have learned into practice. 9. Number 9. The Law of Here and Now. As you can likely guess, the law of here and now is all about being present. Most of us live our lives thinking about the past and what we did wrong, playing that same old recording in our minds. If we live in the here, and now and are attuned to what we are doing, seeing, tasting, smelling, and feeling, we won't be so disconnected when we are interacting with others, eating a meal, watching a movie, or just spending time by ourselves. You will notice that the energy is different, and the experience is more engaging and rewarding. One cannot be in the here, and now if they are looking backward to examine what was or forward to worry about the future. Old thoughts, old patterns of behavior, and old dreams prevent us from having new ones. 10. Number 10. The Law of Change. If you've found yourself experiencing the same situation over and over again, maybe you're attracting the same type of undesirable partner, for example, that is the law of change in action. It's the universe's way of nudging you to learn a lesson. The pattern will continue to repeat itself until you learn from the experience and do something differently in order to evolve into a better version of yourself and stop the vicious cycle. The problem is that so many people are thinking too much and not feeling enough. To change the pattern and the problem, we must be able to connect thoughts and feelings and then proceed to adjust and make changes accordingly. History repeats itself until we learn the lessons that we need to change our path. 11. Number 11. The Law of Patience and Reward. This karmic law essentially translates to, hard work pays off. Consistent work, that is. It's about showing up and doing the work and not giving up on your big goals, even when you don't see any progress made toward them quite yet. So, living in accordance with this karmic law by knowing that achieving great things requires time and persistence, not giving up, celebrating yourself, and savoring every little milestone you achieve along your journey. All rewards require initial toil. Rewards of lasting value require patient and persistent toil. True joy comes from doing what one is supposed to be doing, and knowing that the reward will come in its own time. 12. Number 12. The Law of Significance and Inspiration The Law of Significance and Inspiration tells us that we all have value to give. Our unique gifts are meant to be shared with the world and will make a positive impact. So no matter how seemingly small and unimportant our contribution to the world may seem, it is important. Tap into this karmic law whenever you need a boost of motivation. But remember, you only get back what you put into something. The true value of something is a direct result of the energy and intent that is put into it. Every personal contribution is also a contribution to the whole. Karma is a lifestyle that promotes positive thinking and actions. Karma is not meant to be a punishment. It is present for the sake of education. How else is someone to learn how to be a good person if they are never taught that harmful action is wrong? A person only suffers if they have created the conditions for suffering.
I hope you have found this video informative and that it will be easier for you to apply these laws into your everyday life and that greatness and prosperity will be yours for the taking. So before I go, kindly subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date when I load new videos. I love reading everyone's comments as it connects me to you guys and gives me insight to what you are about and what you would like to hear on this channel. If there is anything that I can change to make my videos better, then please leave me a comment below. I enjoy hearing constructive criticism, as it keeps me on my toes and lets me know what I am doing wrong and how I can make it a better experience for my viewers. And with that said, I'll be signing off for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end and if you subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and it gives me the opportunity to continue creating new content and engaging with lovely people from all over the world. Remember to check out my other videos on my channel or click a video above and watch one of those videos that may just tickle your fancy. Sending you all much positive vibes. Namaste.